Winter Watercolor Tutorial. For today's painting, the paints you will need will be turquoise, violet, Prussian blue, sap green, and for the birch trees, yellow ochre, burnt umber, and white gouache. Cut your paper to the desired size and tape it to a board. Make sure to press down on the edges of the tape to stop the paint from bleeding underneath. Wet the top half of your paper. Using turquoise paint, paint the horizon line. Add more water and pull the paint towards the top of the page. At this point, add touches of violet and again pull it towards the top of the page. Add Prussian blue down by the horizon line pulling it up to create the illusion of trees and bushes in the background. At this point you want to dry the top of your paper. With watered down Prussian blue, drag it across the bottom of the paper to create shadows in the snow. Load your brush with Prussian blue, and on the left side of your page up by the horizon line, start to paint a tree. Start at the top of the tree and work your way down. Pay attention to the details on the tips of the branches. Using white gouache, mark in the placement of the birch trees. To give the illusion of the birch trees being in the foreground, start near the bottom and extend the trees off the page. Make sure to dry the first coat of white paint before adding another layer to the birch trees. The second layer of white should be painted in short little stripes. Leave a small space between each stripe. This will start creating the look of the birch bark. Repeat this step, making the white gouache more opaque.
Now that you have a white base for the trees, add some yellow ochre in short stripes to further detail the bark. With the yellow ochre left on your brush, add some branches. Using a thin layer of white, go over the yellow ochre to tone it down and blend it in. Dry this layer before moving on. Burnt umber is used to further detail the bark and create some edges on the tree and branches. Once again, dry your paint. Using a mixture of Prussian blue and sap green, add touches of green to the fir tree in the background. Dry this layer completely. Use the white wash to add snow to the birch trees. Use a dabbing motion and concentrate on one side of the trunk and one side of the branches. With white wash still on your brush, pick up some Prussian blue and paint shadows in the snow. Use the white wash to break up the shadows on the snow.
add snow to the fir tree in the background. Think about a real tree and how the snow sits on the edges of the branches. Now paint the final layer of snow on the birch trees, where the snow accumulates in between the branches and on the side of the trunk. Paint the falling snow with little dots of white gouache. Move your paintbrush around the page to avoid creating a pattern. Add a second layer of snow to the fir tree. Be careful not to cover up the first layer completely. This will make it look like there are thick and thin layers of snow on the branches. When removing the tape, pull the tape down and away to avoid tearing your paper. Leave a comment and let me know if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to hit the like button. Check out my other winter watercolor tutorial and subscribe for more videos.